Every cell in our bodies contains genes which control how the body develops and functions. These are arranged on structures called chromosomes, which you can see through a microscope. Most people have 46 chromosomes, 23 from each parent. Sometimes, though, things don't work out that way, and one of the chromosomes gets duplicated, so the person ends up with 47 chromosomes. I've been studying children who have an extra X or Y chromosome. Girls usually have two X chromosomes, but sometimes have an extra X, a condition known as trisomy X. Boys usually have an X and a Y, but sometimes there is an extra, extra Y, and sometimes they have two X's and one Y, a condition known as Klinefelter syndrome. Occasionally this can also result from a girl having an extra Y chromosome. These conditions often don't have obvious physical effects, except that children with an extra X or Y chromosome tend to be taller than average. In addition, in Klinefelter syndrome, a lack of testosterone can mean the child doesn't go through puberty normally, and in these cases, an endocrinologist may recommend hormone supplements. I'm interested in these conditions because language development is often affected in boys and girls with an extra X or Y chromosome. In fact, these children can resemble those with specific language impairment with poor language skills but normal development in other areas. Often there's early speech delay and we found that many of these children had been referred for speech and language therapy. We found too that some of the boys with an extra X or Y had a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder. However, there's a really wide range of outcomes and we also found other children who were doing fine and were never identified with any special needs. We know that around 1 in 1,000 girls have trisomy X and 1 in 1,000 boys have XYY. The rate for Klinefelter syndrome is a bit higher, more like 1 in 650 boys. If we survey children who have language impairments, we find rather higher rates of extra X or Y chromosomes, more like 2 to 3 for every 100 children. But all the same, it's important to remember that most children with language impairments have the usual 46 chromosome. If your child has a language impairment, you may wonder whether it's worth asking to have their chromosomes checked. The evidence suggests this is something to consider if the child has other features typical of one of these syndromes. And you can find out more about this in the slides and references that accompany this talk. For those with Klinefelter syndrome, an early diagnosis can help make sure that the child's hormones are monitored so treatment can be given if necessary. For girls with trisomy X and boys with XYY, there is no specific treatment for the chromosome condition, but a diagnosis can be helpful in explaining the child's difficulties and making sure that they get support. 